Well, that's the headlines. Uhuru team blocks uh, new Jubilee projects. But also on the front page, we have governors isolated as Kenyatta MPs mm -hmm. give conference. Of course, there's something else that we'll discuss on State of the Nation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the Council of Governors meeting taking place uh, in Meru County. But it seems not to have received as um, an exciting response as one would have expected, especially from members of parliament and senators. Yeah, for, first of all, when you look at that uh, that picture, it uh, reveals that these people are very healthy. You know, they... <laughs> <laughs> they look very healthy, they are well fed. So there's no you problem can see with the resources. picture right there. Yeah, they actually look quite well fed. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 a fact. And all of them, there's no uh, there's no governor with uh, any grey hair, so it means that uh, they've been spending a lot of time with their barbers mm -hmm. at the salon. But I think most important is uh, our leaders in Kenya for some reason they do not understand that all of them are serving uh, Wanjiko. Mm -hmm. they, they, there is a, a lot of uh, infighting between number one governors and their deputies because the deputies are seen as a potential competition to the governors. So they don't even uh, work together. And you know like the case in uh, Makweni, Machakos and Nairobi come to mind. So the governors tend to take decisions on their own. And they, they also have a phobia for the local MPs and the senators as well as uh, the MCS. So there is a competition number one to accumulate wealth for personal use and also for the governors to be seen to be taking credit because a number of these governors fear that if they get the active participation of the MPs and senators then all of them are going to take credit and during the, the campaign credit period, is divided amongst yeah, all of them yeah and they want to they want it to be uh, very inclusive they don't want any other person to, to come on board mm -hmm. and I think that's the case however a number of insiders again have said that are during the, the, the plan for this uh, conference, it's only governors who are given uh, a front seat. The rest of the stakeholders were going to be present just as uh, flower girls. Mm -hmm. So the senator said they did not participate in the formulation of uh, the program. Mm -hmm. They were not invited as speakers. So they see no reason as to why they need to attend this. And also the MPs. So really, it boils down to who is in charge of resources and uh, who takes uh, credit for it. And again, when you go through the newspapers into detail, you'll find that uh, there's a lot of wastage of uh, public resources. I mean, why would uh, the Nairobi governor go all the way to yeah. Meru with, uh, I don't know, motorcade, with uh, sirens? I mean, the, the amount of money spent to make the governors happy to look like they're running uh, independent states mm -hmm. is just appalling. And but now the, the question would be, if senators do not go for this kind of a conference, then who holds the governors to account? Because that's one of the responsibilities that Kenyans would expect senators would do. Well, you see now the governors are holding themselves into account because, number one, they've been able to compromise all their MCAs. And if you look at the the latest uh, generation of uh, millionaires it's uh, MCAs. MCAs mm -hmm. now become millionaires because when uh, an MC wants to raise an issue, what the governor quickly does is to give them uh, a contract and you know they keep quiet so they're not able to do any serious... Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And then number two, majority of the MCAs do not have the capacity or infrastructure even to look at their accounts and understand what the governor is doing. Mm -hmm. So for them they, they, they read the governor's mood and because they've been given a contract they let everything pass. And then the other institutions of accountability like the the Auditor General, the control of budget, they've got so much work, it's overwhelming. And one would um, imagine that uh, if the Anti-Corruption uh, Authority or the Parliament or the Senate decided to look at uh, the books uh, as are presented by the governors, Kenya will be so surprised, Kenya will be so shocked, because up to 80% of uh, the budgets do not go to you know, capital projects, they go to buying uh, flowers and fueling their cars, and uh, Wanjiku is suffering. I mean, you see hospitals are uh, all over. Like uh, the other day they were saying in uh, Kakamega, Viga, the hospitals. Yes. There are no drugs, there's nothing mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the governor's office, they've uh, employed uh, 20 advisors, they're buying top-of-the-range vehicles, and uh, at the expense of Wajiko. Uh, of Wajiko.